And it will take Chimney Rock and town similar years to completely rebuild. No question about it. And immediately support from those for those impacted started to come together to help complete strangers in their time of need. CBS 17's Ben Bokum is in Durham tonight with one organization who's doing just that. Trucks full of diapers are coming in, and people from across the triangle are getting these essential items ready for delivery. Megan Demas is one of the volunteers at the Diaper Bank of North Carolina. Friends that I know from the area said that that's what they were prepared for, was some rain and some wind, but they were never prepared for the amount of flooding and the mudslides and the road collapses that have happened. Over 150 volunteers showed up here today to pack up these diapers that are being sent over to Western North Carolina. It's all in an effort to help those suffering in the wake of Helene. Since Sunday, the Diaper Bank reports it's pushed out over 750,000 products. Vulnerable families are especially impacted when a storm like this comes through because they already are struggling to afford the most basic needs. And then this just puts extra stress and devastation onto that family. Using their own trucks and help from other volunteers, the Diaper Bank is also sending over supplies like period products and baby formula. We are hearing horror stories of a baby not being fed in over 24 hours and they're using sugar water. For Friday's delivery, these diapers are going to Avery, Yancey, and Mitchell County, as well as Carter County, Tennessee. We have to come together as North Carolinians to, to help communities, you know, close to home and far away. The diaper bank will continue to take as many volunteers and donations as it can get. In Hillsboro, Ben Boken, CBS 17 News.